Good afternoon, everyone. I wanted to get around this uh, video for the past couple days. It's a few days late coming, but I want to acknowledge um, the accomplishment of uh, Greta Gerwig's Barbie and um, how I was able to reach the $1 billion milestone worldwide, which is um, extraordinary. It's on the verge of uh, reaching 500 million domestically. Um, at the start of the year, um, and I think like most people, I would have guaranteed that Super Mario Brothers uh, movie would have remained domestically and worldwide, potentially probably the biggest movie of the year. I would have guaranteed that um, with the kind of box office it took in domestically and worldwide. I felt that Mission Impossible couldn't catch it or Indiana Jones or many of these other great titles that have come out this year, then there was no way anything else probably for the remainder of the year would have did it. But hopefully I'm not alone in this, but uh, I was completely wrong because I'm willing to guarantee at this point, now that Barbie has reached 1 billion worldwide, it's going to end the year as the biggest film of the year in 2023 domestically and worldwide. I have no doubt that this movie will probably reach between 1.5 billion to 2 billion uh, worldwide, um, surpassing Mario's, um, I believe it's close to 1.4 billion worldwide, uh, pretty close to it. And obviously uh, domestically, I think it made about 500 and 74 million somewhere in the vicinity of that um, which is incredible um, but for Barbie to have accomplished what it's accomplished in only three weekends and it's still first place at the theater and probably will remain so maybe for another week or a couple more weeks and we can only imagine what it could do by the end of this month of August it I'm imagining it could crossover at least over 600 million domestically and uh worldwide i'm gonna stick to my my uh my guess you know my estimation that it could possibly reach between 1.5 to 2 billion worldwide um i feel really strongly about that at this point and how quickly it's gotten to 1 billion so we'll have to wait and see but again um not everybody loved this movie. Some people loved it more than others. I happen to be on the spectrum of very much loving it. It was the surprise of the year. Probably my favorite movie of the year so far. I didn't expect to like it anywhere near as much as I did. But uh, I definitely have. Um, it really tackled so many great themes about how uh, the patriarchy um, affects everyone regardless of uh, gender and um, some people had a problem how it promoted feminism and bashed um, masculinity to some people's viewpoints but I thought these themes really painted a clear portrait of the society we live in today and the many uh, the many uh, things we see today and in these times and even uh, some of the themes uh, involving capitalism and how it uh, showed how corporations can be, businesses like uh, how it depicted, uh, you know, the business in charge of uh, the Barbie brand. And even though it was done in a very comedic way, courtesy of uh, the brilliance as usual by Will Ferrell, um, that's not very far from the truth of how things can be. But um, I think one of the biggest things I took away from it was the universal message of following your own path. Don't try to keep up with the Joneses. Um, be yourself. Be who you are. Don't let people influence you in who they think you should be. Be who you feel you should be. Follow your own um, path, not trying to copy others or trying to fit into this direction or that direction just because that might be what's considered hip or cool uh, to the media or society today. But 
it painted a very clear portrait of uh, the way things are in today's society. And um, those messages are very universal and very deep. Um, many people will take certain things from this film differently than others. But um, I see things from different angles sometimes. I see deeper meanings of what uh, directors sometimes are trying to convey in the messages of their films. And this, the messages Greta Gerwig was trying to convey with this film definitely struck a chord and definitely had a clear, clear, significant meaning to me that uh, I definitely called on to. Um, but it was, again, very well done. I thought the film was brilliantly directed. I thought its Oscar chances are very high. I would say it's a guarantee for costumes and production design, uh, possibly maybe even a best original song for either uh, Gosling's um, I'm Just Ken or even Billie Eilish's song. Uh, there's a chance that either one of those could get nominated. Um, Margot Robbie knocked it out as, as Barbie. Uh, we'll have to wait and see if she can maybe sneak in for a nomination but, you know, for sure, she she's definitely worthy, too. Um, I think Ryan is a lock for Ken. Um, he has to be one of the front runners at this point. Um, it's probably going to come down to between him and maybe one or two others, um, which could very well possibly be Robert De Niro um, for... Uh, the new uh, Scorsese movie, um, which we're all looking forward to as well. But I think Ryan has to, at this point, be one of the front runners. Um, this film could be up for a multitude of Oscars. Uh, I'm kind of guaranteeing possibly even Best Picture, um, which it would be very well deserving of. Um, hopefully, there's a great chance that Greta sneaks in for director as well. But we'll have to wait and see. But uh Again, I just wanted to do a quick little uh, video and how I felt about this milestone of Barbie reaching one billion. And I'm kind of at the point uh, where I just feel that it's probably going to reach anywhere between 1.5 to 2 billion. There's a high probability. There's a high chance it could. Uh, maybe maybe I'm wrong. Um, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are of um, where it could end up domestically and worldwide because domestically I'm thinking at least over 600 million and 1.5 to 2 billion worldwide but let me know what your thoughts are on that as well as the messages that this movie conveyed and the themes it was trying to get across where for some people it worked some people didn't for me personally it definitely hit a hundred percent um it was very powerful stuff and how they used the brand of Barbie to convey a much deeper meaning uh, figuratively and literally in this film. But uh, I loved all the references to many great films too. There's many, many references even to the Wizard of Oz, um, elements that reminded me of uh, the old uh, Disney Channel uh, movie, which was uh, Life Size starring Tyra Banks and uh, Lindsay Lohan as well as Pleasantville, The Truman Show, a few references to Saturday Night Fever, um, many other great films too. I mean, there's a lot of them I'm sure um, we all can think of too. Let me know in the comments below what references and similarities to other films you know this too in this movie. But I want to just leave this video at that. And again, we'll have to wait and see uh, see what the final box office tally will be. But I'm guaranteeing right now that this movie will end the year as the biggest movie of 2023, 100%. So let me know your thoughts. Um, once again, uh, regarding the themes and everything this movie represented and where you feel it can reach domestically and worldwide and also what uh, your thoughts are of the movies that referenced and did you know it, notice any other references to other films too? And uh, what your favorite scenes were too in this movie. But uh, we'll tackle more videos hopefully regarding the film. Maybe toward the end of the year. And see what uh, what its final box office turned out to be. And 
uh, the awards attention it's uh, no doubt going to receive by the end of the year and into next year. But uh, I want to leave it at this. And again, if you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.